Good evening, Steelers fans. Welcome to the FedEx Great Hall here in Heinz Field. I'm Larry Richard, the public address announcer here for the Pittsburgh Steelers and very honored to be the voice of the Steelers highlights for NFL films since 1985. And this is a very special evening. We will officially pull the curtain back and give you the first look at the Steelers Hall of Honor display. The Hall of Honor established this season honors Steelers greats who've made significant contributions to the team. Before we get started, let's take a look at a brief video tribute to the 27 Steelers Hall of Honor inaugural class inductees. No team in football has forged a greater history than the Pittsburgh Steelers. And no team has been comprised of more legendary individuals. On August 1st, 2017, the Steelers announced they would pay tribute to their past greats by unveiling a new Hall of Honor displayed right here in the FedEx Great Hall at Heinz Field. For players to be considered for induction, they must have played for the Steelers a minimum of three seasons, compiled noteworthy career highlights, records, or achievements, and be retired for at least three seasons. Coaches and administrators are considered based on significant contributions to the team and community. And now, the inaugural class of the Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Honor. The 2017 inductees are made up of 27 Steelers greats including 23 Steelers currently enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Headlining the class is the man who started it all, the Chief, team founder Art Rooney. Also inducted is longtime Steelers president and chairman Dan Rooney. The class also includes the winningest coach in franchise history, four-time Super Bowl champion, Chuck Knoll. Chuck Knoll being carried off. Steelers from the early years include player coach Walt Kiesling, running back Johnny Blood McNally, running back Bill Dudley. And Dudley is down in scoring territory. Quarterback Bobby Lane. Defensive tackle, Ernie Stotner. Cornerback, Jack Butler. His toss is grabbed off by Jack Butler, who scampers across to score for the Steelers. Running back, John Henry Johnson. and running back and longtime assistant coach, Dick Hoke. We got the best offense, the best defense, the best QB, the best running back, the best everything, best coaching staff. The greatest team ever assembled. Number one! This well could be the best football team in history right now. The Steelers of the 70s, are well represented, beginning with the cornerstone of the dynasty, defensive tackle Joe Green. Also included are quarterback Terry Bradshaw, running back Franco Harris, center Mike Webster, receivers Lynn Swan, and he's going to Swan. Swan makes his circus catch in the end zone. And John Stallworth. He pulls it in at the 30, the 20, the 10, and it's a touchdown for Pittsburgh on the ball to Stallworth. Defensive end, L.C. Greenwood. Cornerback, Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt came up with the interception. Safety, Donnie Shell. And linebackers, Jack Ham. 
Jack Lambert, and Andy Russell. The class also features players whose greatness carried into a new generation. Picked up by Woodson. Cornerback Rod Woodson. Center, Dermonte Dawson. Dirt Dawson, the all-time everything center. Cool man, come on, let's break it. Linebacker Kevin Green. They got me cranking up now. They cranking me up. And Super Bowl 40 champion running back Jerome Bettis. And the bus gets to the goal line. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jerome Bettis. 27 men of steel. 27 men who forged a legacy of greatness in Pittsburgh. Yeah! The inaugural class of the Steelers Hall of Honor. And now the moment we've been waiting for for a long time. We'll count down from 10, and when we get to one, let's hear I Here We Go. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. And now we'd like to invite Steelers President Art Rooney II to the podium on a very special night. Thank you, Larry, and uh, thanks and congratulations to our Hall of Honor, our first class. It's great to have you all here. As I said last night, uh, we uh, have mixed emotions about uh, some of our uh, inductees who are no longer with us, and so I, I thank our, the family members who are here representing uh, some of the inductees, and uh, uh, it's great to be able to honor you know, so many greats in Steeler history. Uh, last night, we presented the, uh, the, steel, the steel footballs, the replica of the steel footballs, as, I, as you can see, that's part of the display here. So there's, there's also a uh, replica of the steel footballs that's part of the uh, display here and uh, will be here for, uh, for fans to enjoy and celebrate uh, the great contributions that so many of you made to, to Steelers history. So just want to uh, say thanks again for all your contributions. Thanks for being here tonight to help, help us celebrate uh, a great occasion and uh, look forward to en enjoying many... Uh, many years of inducting Steeler greats into the Hall of Honor. So now it's, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce, uh, to represent uh, uh, the class, uh, one of the, uh, the people that we always say should be in, in Canton, but he's here now. So uh, it's my honor to introduce uh, Donnie Schell. Boy, wow, <laughs> exciting, isn't it? I want to say congratulations to all the inductees and their families regarding the Steeler Hall of Honor. Uh, thank Art, the selection committee, uh, the Steeler fans, and the Steeler fans. Uh, especially to me because this is the inaugural class, and it's not going to be another inaugural class. So I, I, I really appreciate that and being a part of, a part of it. I remember uh, old Super Bowl uh, uh, highlight film, NFL highlight film, and it said the commentator came up and they said, um, in the introduction, they said that um, there are 31 teams in the National Football League, and then there are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I believe the commentator was trying to articulate the Steelers are, are, are unique. Uh, because of the things, uh, they do things differently than any other team in the National Football League. Um, 
NFL team and organizations regarding their relationship with current and former players uh, as it relates to the Pittsburgh community and the community at large. Uh, and, then, and also, never forget, we are great fans in the Steeler Nation. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying being with my um, former teammates, and I'm enjoying this event. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Mr. Shell. And now it is my honor to bring up number 75, Mean Joe Green. Good evening, friends, and family, and family, all of you. You know, without a doubt, um, uh, the Rooney family, the Chief, Dan, and Chuck. You know, I was a, I was a ruffian coming from Texas, and I, I had some trouble staying in ball games. And I don't know what they saw, but I'm really, really glad they uh, they chose to to have me around long enough that I could mature and be a part of this fantastic football team. I was a part of that group that uh, helped establish the culture of the Pittsburgh Steelers during my playing days. And after my playing days, I enjoyed watching those guys that I did not play with maintain the culture of the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the most important thing is maintaining. Uh, each and every Sunday, our fans who are diehard, the Steeler Nation. You know, it's amazing that I, you hear this word nation Nation gets thrown around like little pebbles. But we all know there's only one nation, and that's the Steeler Nation. Our fans have, have traveled to every place that we've played, every place I've been. I worked in Miami, Steelers all over the place. I worked in Arizona, Steelers everywhere. So it is a pleasure, just a pleasure for me to, to have been and be a Pittsburgh Steeler. I don't know what my life would have been like <laughs> had I not had these players and, and, and owners in my life. You know, uh, as a team, you know, when, when Donnie came and and Lynn came, and Stahl came. I mean, I was, I was a little rough on the edges. You know, <laughs> my good friend here, Mel, Chuck put me with him to help him, and he, he ended up helping me. They all did. You know, and I was embarrassed by my behavior at times for watching how Stahl walked his walk, how Donnie walked his walk and male, Franco. These are all individual champions who, who, shared, who shared their life with, with all of us. And those are just a few, but we were all like that because we were a team. We were the Pittsburgh Steelers. Thank you. Once again, let's hear it for our inaugural class, the Hall of Honor inductees, 27 Steelers greats. We invite our inductees and their families up for some photo opportunities here at the Hall of Honor. And uh, we have for the media, Jerome Bettis, Dermonte Dawson, Joe Green, and Dick Hoke available for media interviews. 
Once again, we thank you for attending. Looking forward to honoring you at halftime in front of a national TV audience as the Steelers host the Green Bay Packers. Congratulations to the 2017 Steelers Hall of Honor inaugural class, and let's go Steelers.